All right, so this is the introduction to walking your puppy. This is not an actual training. This is more to prepare yourself when you just brought the puppy home and you would like to go for a walk. So the first time you wanna go for a walk, you end up putting the leash on and the, or the collar and then put the leash on and then you find out that the puppy really, really hates it. It often happens uh, when you put the leash and collar on and you start tugging the puppy. The puppy really resists. It's really like, what in the world are you doing to me? This is strange. This is weird. I don't get it. So this is what happens and that's what you need to know about this. So what you probably want to do first is when you get your puppy home, just put the collar on and let them kind of explore uh, the collar. It's like putting on a watch and you've never had a watch on. You kind of fiddle with it for a while. So do puppies. But you'll scratch the neck and like, what is that thing on my neck? So just so you know, that's absolutely normal because they don't understand what that thing on their neck is. So when you start pulling your puppy, um, I have even seen it to a point where a puppy will scream uh, because they're terrified. They don't understand what's going on. Now, of course, there are puppies that are totally fine and you can have everything in between. So you probably want to practice at home first because when you put the leash and collar on and go outside and go like, hey, neighbor, scat new dog, look at me. And then you try to tuck your dog and your dog is like Arr! trying to get away from you. Um, so you may not want to do that. You might feel embarrassed unless you don't care. In that case, you may just want to walk around the house a little bit because... Um, your puppy is kind of, you know, not sure what's going on. So walk around the living room, walk around the yard, just practice a little bit. Let them kind of explore on their own, you know, um, let, tug a little bit to kind of get them understanding that you're the one in control and not them. And that's one of the reasons why you don't really want to use a retractable uh, um, uh, a leash or harness, because when you do that, they start to become the, the in charge of you rather than you are in control of your dog. That's why it's important to not have a retractable leash. You have to keep your dog in control right next to you. And that is for a later lesson. But for now, you just want to have your dog kind of explore a little bit. The other thing is um, you don't want to go to a park or public grass for a little while. You just got your puppy and it's very likely not fully vaccinated yet. They probably just had the first needle and they need two more needles. Um, wait two weeks after their last needle because you can't go just to the vet, get the needle and let's go to the park. It takes about two weeks for your body to completely heal from the, from the needle because the puppy just got given a life virus and they need to work to basically build antibodies against it and it may take some time. It takes up to about two weeks before the puppy is completely over the needle and then it's the safest time to go to the park for the first time. Now because a puppy is social you want to go and visit other dogs of course. Um, you bring the puppy home you don't want to stay in the house or just the backyard for example uh, to, to go to the bathroom you want to teach them to go outside and go for walks and go to the bathroom then as well. But it's important to stay away from unknown dogs. They are social so if you have friends, family, neighbors with dogs, have fun, go play with them. As long as they vaccinated their dogs, your puppy will be fine. But when you go for a walk and you meet someone with another dog and you don't know that person or that dog, it's sometimes I know it's a little weird or strange to ask them, hold on, before the dogs meet each other, did you, is your dog fully vaccinated just because mine isn't yet? Um, you're just gonna have to say that. Um, it, it, uh, don't feel embarrassed to ask. Um, they will say, oh yeah, yeah, my dog's fully vaccinated, then that's fine. If not, unfortunately, you'll have to keep your dog away. Yes, so there is a small chance that your dog could get sick from that dog, but even if it's a small chance, you probably don't wanna risk it. Now, the other thing that people sometimes do is, oh, my dog's not fully vaccinated, they start carrying their dog around. Now, when you start doing that, on the other hand, is when you visit or when you walk and you see someone have another dog and you're like, oh, let's quickly pick up your dog. Your dog, your puppy might get the idea that it's um, natural for them to be uh, held back when they see another dog. They may become afraid of the other dog. So what I call, and I call this the princess syndrome where, oh, it's okay, honey, I'll hold you, I'll save you, it's okay. Now what happens is when you do that, the dog becomes 
um, it gets a, a, a feeling of being more important than the other dogs. So they can actually become a snappy dog. It's usually done with tiny little dogs, uh, the teacup Yorkie type stuff where people pick them up and they kind of sometimes get a little bit of an attitude towards other people or, or other dogs because you always carry them and they will feel more important than the dogs or other people around you. So that's something you really want to avoid. You want to have them on the ground and they need to fend for themselves. They need to learn how to deal with other dogs. So that's why you don't want to pick them up and, uh, and cause the problem yourself. The other thing is, if you are afraid of this dog, you don't kind of want to tell or show your dog that you're afraid because they might become afraid of that dog too. If you're not really sure, you're like, you know what, I don't like that dog, just turn around, go a different direction. It's okay, it's not, not bad to turn away from a dog if you're afraid of it. Just try not to show your dog that you're afraid because they might start to uh, bark at the dog or even become aggressive or on the other hand, sometimes they can cower and become afraid of these dogs. So that's a section about uh, uh, the puppy in the leash and walking for the first time. So this is kind of a little bit of an overview of, of what to expect in the first few days. And the next, uh, version, the next uh, video will be about naming your puppy. Thank you.